What is going on YouTube? Cody here with another Rhetoric Review, and I do apologize. This should have been out <laughs> a while ago. This was actually sent to me uh, a little around Thanksgiving, and it's just been really, really hectic with the holidays and whatnot, and the little little man, and all that kinds of fun stuff. So I do apologize. This is supposed to come out a long time ago, but uh, it's been sitting on my table, and uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see in front of me, it's a backpack. This is by a company by the name of Two Code. It's T O C O D E, as you can see up here in the upper left hand corner. Um, it actually comes with a, uh, a lock as well. And I do apologize. I mean, I can try to get some, some close up. Uh, I'm still a very small YouTuber and I don't have, I'm recording this on my phone. So, um, let's see, it comes with a lock. You can actually see right here, it's got a lock on it by a company by the name of Two Code. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know that Two Code has sent me some stuff before. Um, so this is considered a tech backpack, which I'm actually pretty interested in because I am into tech. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So as you let's go ahead and start on the back here. So on the back here, you have some really nice backpack, backpack straps, really good cushioning and padding right here. Now I'm going to put this on and it actually feels pretty comfortable wearing it. It does have a strap around the front so you can uh, uh, attach it. Well, once you clip it together, it's going to be a lot harder to just kind of pull it off from you. Um, really obviously adjustable straps you have a little bit of a strap here in the back so you can put something right here some pads up on your shoulders and your lumbar so that's going to give you a good bit of support and uh, comfort as well if you're going to be carrying this over a long period of time go ahead and go over to the left here as you can see right here it has another pouch uh, a mesh pouch i don't know if you can necessarily see through that but that is see-through um so you can put any kinds of things in there water bottles all that kinds of fun stuff and then strap it down with this little strap here now i would assume same thing as on the other side Obviously, you can see a little bit of mesh pouch. It's pretty deep. It goes all the way down to right here um, where that little line is. Um, so you can fit all kinds of fun stuff in there. And again, you can uh, put it in there, strap it down, get it all nice and tight. Go ahead and over to the front here, and you have little dividers you can put, I would assume, stuff in here. Almost like a Molly situation If uh, for those of you tactical folks that know exactly what Molly is. Um, you can slide something down through there and snap it together and kind of have it on your front here. And again, you can... Uh, strap those down i'm assuming you could probably put something here and strap that down as well um coming up this front bag here very nice zipper kind of has a, a coated metal finish if you can see it right there that's black it's got a very nice smooth almost plasticky feel and yeah, actually it might be plastic yeah it's plastic um so you got a nice little pocket here in the front um and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag nothing really fancy inside this pocket it is a little bit uh has a little bit of a uh, thickness to it, as you can see on the left hand side here. Um, we'll go ahead and open up all kinds of bags and whatnot, all kinds of pouches, pockets. You can see right here is a little clip. You can unclip that. Open up this front pocket here. If I can actually get it fully unzipped, there we go. That's a nice little area for you. You can put any. I would assume uh, something would, uh, like a set of headphones would actually go really nice right there. Again, this is considered a tech backpack. This is actually made for a uh, to fit a 17.3 inch laptop. Um, I mean, you can put all kinds of charging cables and all kinds. If you're an audiophile, put your headphones in there, um, over the ear headphones and all kinds of fun stuff. Open it up even further. And you have this portion right here that doesn't go any further. Actually, no, that that goes all the way. Huh. That goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. I thought it was just stuck right there. Now that actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So that's a uh, front pocket right there, front compartment. So you can put all kinds of stuff in here, cell phone, uh, calculator, if anybody even uses those anymore, um, two pen holders, and this little bit of an, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> area in the back, two pockets right here on the other side, two pen holders, um, all that kinds of fun stuff. And again, all these zippers are gonna be that plastic with metal. Um, very nice, smooth zip to it. Um, I'm not an expert on zippers, but they do feel nice. Uh, one of the key features that they have on here, if you can see this right here, this is a USB port. So we'll go ahead and take a look on the inside of that once we get to the inside. And on this other side, that's actually a spot for your headphones, headphone jack to go through. So you can have some kind of a, uh, a media player in here. So I was trying to see where that would actually lead. I guess you could have a media player in here, a uh, CD player if those are even used anymore, um, any kind of MP3 player. I'm going to go ahead and check out the front portion here. You've got this pouch which goes down uh, about up to my wrist, so from here to here. Um, and then the uh, the mesh pouch, it's about the same length. you got two got two of those pockets with your zippers right here. Let's go check this USB section right over here. So it looks like you open this up. 
and a little bit of a pocketed area. I'm pretty sure this is strictly used to house. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what all this is. Okay, so that. Okay, so this is your USB. So this actually goes up inside that little area, that little port that you see on the outside. It slides right up in there, then you have your cord here. So this can be obviously attached to any kind of a uh, power bank. A power bank. <laughs> I was trying to think of other things it could be attached to, but that's obviously the purpose of it, is strictly for that power bank uh, feature. Um, but it does have this little bit of a zipper right here, so what you can do if you're not using it, just keep it attached. Um, you don't even have to keep it attached, just put it right Put it right back in there and uh, you can slide it through this little area right here as you can see that goes right up to the outside um, yeah there you go so it just slides right back in there and then this is your little area for your USB it's kind of hoping that that would be big enough to fit like a standard power bank in and I guess you could try to fit one in there depending on the size I mean, I'm not super familiar with power banks anymore. I had a couple of them back in the day. Um, so those are definitely outdated. And they were cheap at that, so. Um, but even putting it in an enclosed area like that, zipping and shut, probably not a good idea. So this back section right here, this is where your 17.3 inch laptop is going to be able to go. Um, they do have this padded section right here in the front, so this is completely separate from everything else in the back itself. You do have the, uh, it's right onto your back, and this is actually a really good padded area in the back as well. So you don't have to worry about it uh, slamming against your back or any kind of an issue like that. One of the main reasons why they have these pads back here, because if your laptop's going to be back there. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's a pretty decent thickness um, uh, foam in there to keep your laptop secure. But it does go all the way down to the bottom of the bag as well. And then right in the front here, you have a little bit of a pocket for like a... Uh, a tablet, maybe an iPad, anything like that. And then obviously the rest of your backpack for all your other tech needs and such. Um, I'm really interested in this backpack. I've done a lot of backpacks in the past. I've got a lot of backpacks sent to me in any kind of bag and whatnot. And um, this one, in, in, in my personal opinion, backpack-wise, not messenger bag-wise, but backpack-wise, this is probably going to be my favorite that I've gotten. And uh, again, my personal opinion, there's so many bags. There's so many... Um, different pockets, so many areas of the bag that you can put stuff in um, and that you probably, now granted, me personally, I would run out of stuff to put in them before I would run out of areas to put them in. Um, for somebody that does tech, uh, traveling with tech, um, again, whether you're an audiophile and you're constantly on the move for your college students or your high school students, for those that like to travel, um, you probably have more than enough things that could fit in all these pouches and all these pockets and all these zippered areas um, But I would definitely recommend this. This has got a good quality to it And again, you have this uh, lock right here which I would assume Reset Okay on the back there it tells you how to reset it If you see right here you can Have those in there and have it locked. So where once you set the combination, nobody can get into your backpack, um, the back area that is to your laptop. Um, and you could obviously set this anywhere where there's a set of two zippers, like right over there. There's another set, um, that kind of stuff. So it's really nice that they send you something like this. Um, I don't know much about locks. I mean, it feels like a decent quality, kind of a cheap metal. But um, definitely, I mean, it's a nice feature that they send to you. Check out this a little bit right here, care instructions, um, all that kinds of fun stuff. But if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. Again, I do apologize, this should have been out months ago. But uh, it is what it is. Life happens. Especially for a YouTuber that doesn't rely on their income coming from YouTube. You know, I do have a full-time job. I do have multiple YouTube channels. This is my second one. Um, so if you're interested, check out the other one. It's a Cerno uh, on YouTube. It's a gaming channel. But uh, so 
Fortunately, reviews are kind of the last thing that I'm worried about doing, unless I have something that's on a, dead, a deadline. But, you know, again, stuff happens. But if you enjoyed, see, hit the like button, subscribe button, bell notification, questions, comments, or concerns, or if you're a business or a uh, any kind of a, uh, a brand that would like to reach out to me and have me uh, uh, do a review for any of your products, just uh, let me know. You can leave a comment down below, and I'll get in touch with you. Or you can uh, reach me. Um, I think there's an email in my About section. So uh, definitely check out those if you want to reach me and uh, give me to do a review for you. Um, all that kinds of fun stuff. But uh, above all else, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a radical one. I'll see you on the next one.